Hello guys, it has been a minute since I have shared our massive patio transformation. So before I dive into today's makeover, which will be a lot of styling of new furniture, let me remind you of where we started off. So when we moved into this home, the backyard had this strange caged in jungle. So it was filled with poisonous plants, broken pots, a lot of rocks, and a lot of overgrown bushes. So it took us a few months to just clear all of this out. A lot of our family helped. This is my sister and her boyfriend and then of course my mom and dad helped us they have been such strong supporters of this whole house renovation so then once we had this clear slate we were able to start to adding in some things we added this small patio in this area where we get shade during the summer we had this massive dirt pit left over and so we created borders to have a small area where we can have plants and then a small area of rocks next to the patio to keep it nice and clean we went out in the middle of a Florida rainstorm and got a ton of plants as well as some beautiful pots that my parents picked up that will stay with this home when we move as we are renting from them. And so then we brought in this turf, which was a little bit controversial, but we absolutely love it. It is the perfect thing for our young boys to run around on and play out here. All of these plants look like such little babies here because they have grown up so much since these clips. So I will show you all of that progress today, as well as some new furniture to replace this set some DIYs to bring in a little bit more charm into this area, as well as some estate sale finds, which you know guys, I am a sucker for finding some thrifted furniture. So we have a lot to cover today. Let's go ahead and dive in and make this space a really beautiful place that we can enjoy through our beautiful Florida winter. So I'm actually selling this furniture set later today. Somebody is coming on Marketplace to pick that up. And then this is the furniture set that I got last week on Marketplace. And I'll insert a picture of the inspiration that I had for these. I really liked the iron look of it. Now these are the old cushions though. And they're definitely a little beat up and they're also very thin. So I think that's gonna look really good on those. And then I'm getting a new rug. So I'm also selling this rug with this set there. Finding cushions for these proved to be a much more difficult task than I was expecting. So I ordered some on Amazon that I really didn't like. Just the quality of them wasn't, wasn't there. And it just didn't match the inspiration pictures. I also found some on Marketplace that were red that I was going to recover. I'll show those in a bit. But let's move on to some things that I can work on today, which is this bougainvillea. So I'll insert a picture of what it started with. And this plant can grow like wild. You really do have to make sure that you are pruning it. But we absolutely love it for the color and the Spanish Mediterranean look that our home is and that we're trying to incorporate into this patio. And so I'll insert a picture of some that's growing very, very nicely in a patio. And so this would be definitely the goal. We do have a plan of how we are going to actually permanently attach these. But for now, I just needed to get them up <laughs> so that they weren't poking us as we're walking by and everything needs to have have some good thorns on them and so I attached these using these little velcro strips that we got at Home Depot they are really really perfect for really attaching anything um, I used them in a lot of places in my garden and so once these were all up it looked so much better you could actually walk around there it is on the left not pruned up and then on the right is pruned but remember this is temporary so we will get to more permanent fixture with a lattice and wire system and so that's just the little sneak peek that I'll give you for today. Okay, I had a vision for these chairs. These are not the vision. So <laughs> I'm gonna, I already reposted these on Marketplace. I've had some people interested. I just spilled my water all over me. So we're gonna move right along though. So I'm still on the hunt for furniture. Um, we might go look at some later today that I found. So we can though work on this. <laughs> so it kind of just blends into the wall as is. We're gonna blend it flat. So the Facebook Marketplace Furniture Saga will continue, but I just want to mention that sometimes here on YouTube, it can look like we pull these makeovers out of a magic hat and things just work out perfectly, but that is not always the case. So I am showing this process of, you know, finding stuff, selling it, and in my area, thankfully, it's not too difficult to sell things. I was able to sell these for the exact cost that I bought them. The chairs were 20, the cushions were 50. So I broke even on it and I was able to learn what I don't want in this space. So I find that very valuable and we will persevere and find what is exactly perfect. 
Good morning. It's been probably a few weeks. <laughs> a lot has changed out here. I have some new furniture to show you. I swapped out stuff. So I sold what I had on Marketplace, like everything, and started fresh. And then I have some rugs that I just ordered from Amazon that I want to test out so that we can choose between those. And I also worked on this yesterday. I took a little before clip, so I'll show you what it looked like before, but I made this really easy bamboo trellis out of just four pieces of bamboo that I got at Home Depot, tied it together at the top, and I think it really helps this plant look more polished. <laughs> it was like way overgrown. It's plastic piece that it came on. It is a like vine that grows up. So hopefully it'll kind of take up some space over here and look kind of sculptural. So let me show you the new couch that we got and then we'll try out those rocks. Ignore our pile of tile. <laughs> you've been around you know we're still in the middle of construction inside but this is the new couch that I got on Facebook marketplace I am pretty happy with it I love the classic shape and everything of it and it is raw iron so it will last forever I just need to figure out what I want for the accent chairs I'm okay with those being different the boys are being crazy out there I like how we have wrought iron mixed with wicker I'm being the worst videographer here, but the wrought iron mixed with the wicker, I think looks good. So I think I'll probably do something similar in here to kind of round this out. And then these pillows just came with it, but I'm going to recover these. And then I still need to wash these, but they're Sunbrella fabric. Supposedly Sunbrella fabric is really, really good at staying clean. So <laughs> hopefully they come clean and I can keep them clean with two little boys. All right, let's try out these rugs. <laughs> They're very different. This one is kind of like a vintage inspired one. And then this is a Harlequin diamond. I try to be very honest with my representation of my DIY projects and makeovers, showing you guys the process as well as the mistakes and failures. But I just wanted to be very clear about something as well, and that is my productivity as a mama. I have mentioned this before, but I have two little boys. I stay home full-time, and my full-time job is taking care of them. So actually today, they were both home. Usually my eldest is in pre school but he was home at sick and so I just want to be clear that we do not get as much done as you might think we do in these videos and there are so many breaks and stops and starts for hugs that are needed and you know sibling rivalries that need to be broken up and all of that fun stuff that comes along with being a mom and instructing these little ones but it is my great joy and it is so fun for me to get to do stuff like this while I'm home with them. much later in the day and sitting with this rug it's perfect I'm not even gonna open this one I just don't I don't think this is it it has like a lot of gray in it and I don't want to bring more gray into this space with the concrete floors eventually we would love to change the floor to not concrete but in the meantime we can warm up this space with this rug and make it kind of look like tile like I, I like how it looks a little bit like tile with that Harlequin pattern I know it's very trendy right now, but it's a rug. I can always change it if I end up not liking it. I want to bring some of the greenery now from over there to over here. So we just make this more continuous. So we'll at least move one pot over and then I might see if I can find some more for our big reveal for this video. <laughs> Okay, we had a very successful yard sale, estate sale, shopping day. Not film at these sales just because it felt like kind of a sad situation. Like someone had passed like a family member and the family was there. So I didn't feel like that was appropriate, but let me show you what I got. Ton of really, really old garden items. And we found this vintage garden bench. The wood slats need replacing. So we were just trying to figure out how they can come out with these bolts and then we can replace them probably with teak or with oak and like stain them really nicely and then sand these down a little bit because they have a lot of rust on them and paint them as well as this piece is 
something. This is this is a lot. So this is another metal piece that needs to be sanded and painted. It's got like a lot of rust on it. My mom is gonna work on that um, in a bit. And then it has this on top. So <laughs> together, this was $25 and this was $5. They really just wanted to get rid of everything. So what we need to do though is fix up this so that it doesn't have all of these holes where rain is being caught. This is just made out of like plaster. It's not real um, terracotta. I mean, it feels kind of like stone, but the way that it's so porous and I mean, we like live close to the beach. So salt water like really erodes things. So this is what my dad found to fix it. <laughs> water putty so I guess he's gonna mix this with water and then it stays put doesn't shrink all the above so we'll let you know if this works this really felt to me like one of those aged vessel DIY face things that people do all the time here on YouTube I'm sure you've seen them from like all of Atelier's or Pottery Barn but this is on a massive scale and typically people are using something like joint compound which is what you would use to fix your drywalls but this is going to be outside so we wanted it to be a little bit more durable and so far this has actually held up very well so thank you dad for figuring out that one and putting in the work on that as well and we are going to paint that in just a bit oh. and then wow, Dominic really started working you. on pulling apart this old garden bench I feel like some people are going to say oh you covered up all of the beautiful patina on these well it was quite rusty and if we had left it it would pose a risk for our kids and possibly even continue to fall apart more than it has so we dealt with the rest by using wire brushes to scrub off all of that rust <laughs> by we i mean really my parents and dominic did this i was watching the, the boys after getting all of that rust off of there they used the 2x rust-oleum that i used previously in this video in a flat black color to make these look perfectly new and then it was time to move on to building those slats i'm extremely fortunate to have a dad and a husband who are very handy like this so dominic had actually picked up some wood from facebook marketplace that turned out to be really really nice we think mahogany even though we were told that it was actually hickory i believe there's the old slats compared to the new ones before they cut those in half. I don't know how they did that. I think they used the table saw to do that. And then I think that was the planer that you saw them using to make them really nice and smooth. You can see just how much sawdust this created because these pieces that he got on Marketplace were super rough. Here's two of them that were not used. I believe Dominic said that he got all of these, which includes the ones that we used and more for about $30, which is a great price if you know hardwoods. Wow, so we're cleaning up this. Look at how crazy this stuff dried. This is the putty. Yeah, we cannot even break it and it is hard. So this stuff is really interesting. Never seen this before. It is water soluble. So it'll like clean up with water and it could like erode. So we're going to paint the pot next. Oh wow, crazy. And now it's raining. So we're gonna pause this. <laughs> I didn't do this when the humidity drops. Otherwise, I don't think this is gonna dry correctly. My dad picked up these two Rust-Oleum paints that have a stone texture to them. And I've actually never used these before. They went on fairly well, a lot thinner than I thought they would be. They really didn't have much texture, but I went ahead and fixed that with a little hack that I will show you. I've seen Emily Faith do this same trick when she is creating lots of her DIY pottery barn or high-end olive atelier dupes. And so I can confirm it worked really well, but this was after the first coat and I did go in with the second coat. I just went in with the two colors kind of simultaneously alternating between them so that I could get the color nice and even. So here is the hack. When in doubt, aging something, rub some dirt on it. This really helps fill in those little cracks that should be darker in reality so that they look like they have just been filled with dirt over time. So this worked really well. I'm a mess. <laughs> Why didn't I wear gloves? Can you tell I'm a boy mom? This doesn't really phase me, but I think this is looking really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and put a plant in it that we got at Home Depot the other day. I can't move my hair. 
I don't want to actually put dirt inside of this just because it's plaster. And so I think if I just insert, I mean, obviously not that one. That one is too big. And this one goes all the way through. But then I think, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> this one will sit like right there. I mean, it looks maybe a little awkward, but once there is a lot of greenery coming out, I don't think you'll see this or I could paint that, but I ran out of spray paint. So we're going to do this. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> Okay, so I will show you the reveal in just a minute, but I did want to mention this bench that we found at the estate sale will not be in the reveal because we have not had a chance to finish it. We have all been sick for the past three weeks, just taking turns as it goes. So solidarity to any mamas going through that. It's like the hardest time of my motherhood, honestly. It's hard. But that will be in part three, four, I don't know. I've lost track of what part of this big over we're on. And I've also found some new furniture that I'm gonna go pick up soon and we will be working on that in next time. So make sure you come back for that one. Okay, I'm gonna reveal the space real quick. I just wanted to welcome any new subscribers here. Um, I recently hit 7,000 subscribers, which is wild to me. I know that's still like really small, but it feels like a lot to me. And I just thank you guys for being here, especially for those of you who have said hello. I have linked below the playlist featuring all of our home renovation projects. We have touched every single space in this house. There's still a lot to do, but it's been a lot of progress. I will admit some of those videos are kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I'm still learning how to do this, so you can go watch them and hopefully it shows some growth with my videography and editing. <laughs> and if you want to find me on Instagram, you can find me at eegarby. I share lots of more like in the moment updates over there with the home and with family life and everything. I just recently shared over there the gender of baby number three that we are five months along with and doing great. Let me remind you guys where we started in this space. And now for where we are today. I could point out all of the things out here that still need to be accomplished, but instead I want to share a poem that I recently found on Instagram by Whitney Hansen. You believe romanticizing life means constantly striving to create a life extraordinary enough to romanticize. But the truth is, it is not a matter of creating something extraordinary. It is a matter of realizing the beauty in the life you already have. So as a Christian, I believe this idea of romanticizing life must lead our hearts back to gratitude and as we lead into this Thanksgiving week, let us draw our hearts towards gratitude in every aspect of our lives. I hope that you all have a very blessed week and I will see you in the next one.